Hey everybody, it's the Gare Bear here. Welcome to the channel. And today, in the spirit of um, 4th of July here in the great country of the United States, celebrating our independence, I wanted to do something a little special with my car, and I wanted to make it a little more American. And to do that, I decided the best thing to do, you got to put a flag on your car. But, you know, I don't want to, like, hang one from the roof rack or something. I want it to be big. I want it to be flying in the wind as I drive down the road. And so I decided I'm going to put a flagpole on the back of my truck. Now, how am I going to do that? Well, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build one. That's what I'm going to do. That was pretty much the answer. And let's go ahead and, and I'm going to kind of show you everything that you need to do to do that yourself and the whole process I'm doing. So let's get to that. The first thing you're going to need is some two-inch pipe. Um, so I have one right here. Um, this is some two-inch PVC pipe. Um, that should be strong enough uh, to withstand, um, you know, this, the wind strength of driving or whatever. Um, I picked two-inch wide because the only part I have for this whole project that's not here yet is the hitch receiver that this will all stick into. That's going to come in tomorrow, um, but that has um, the pole receiver is two inches or a little bit bigger than two inches. You need a two-inch pipe, so that's what that's for, okay? The next thing you're gonna need is, let's go into our magic bag of wonder. I got a little cap for the end of the pole. I got two of these um, like carriage bolt type things. Um, so what we'll do is you'll need a drill also for this project and um, some drill bits to drill through this pipe, nice and straight. And then what we'll do is we'll stick these carriage bolts through the pipe, um, one for each end of the flag. And then they come with some nuts on there, but I want something a little stronger. So let me just, there we go. Got some uh, lock nuts. And these are, um, yeah, these are lock nuts. And these are like, the, I guess, two, two inch wide or something. I don't know. They're good enough for, they, they match with this. So whatever, I don't know tools or whatever. I'll build things, but that'll work. They're the same. Um, and then I got these little carabiner clips. So what it is, if you can kind of imagine, this will be bolted in to there, and then you'll use the carabiner to attach the flag to the eyelet on the carriage bolt. Um, so that should be good. And like I said, the only other thing you need is you'll need a saw or a PVC pipe cutter to cut this down to the uh, length that you want, whatever, um, however high you want it on the back of your truck. And then, of course, the most American thing you gotta have for your flagpole is an American flag. Right there. Most beautiful flag in the world, America. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go through doing all this, um, kind of maybe speed it up a little bit, and then I'll show you guys what it looks as a final product on the back of my truck. And I think that'll look pretty cool. So let's see it. Okay, so I don't really have a good setup in the garage to really film me actually doing this, but I went ahead and found one of our cordless drills, and I went ahead and got a small bit first just to kind of pre-drill it so it'd be a little bit more easy to um, just get it started, and if I make a mistake, it's easier to fix a small hole than a big hole drilled through. And so I kind of just did the first hole uh, just like about an inch, inch and a half from the tip top of the pole, and then actually just pulled the flag out of the box and actually just stretched it across until I figured out where I needed to drill the other hole, which is right there. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get a bigger drill bit and go ahead and just make those the final size and then I'll be back. Okay, so I kid you not, the battery just died in my drill. Fuck you. That's okay. I already have one ready to go so I can kind of show you what you need to do. So gonna finish that one up once the battery um, recharges but this one I was already able to drill you'll notice this is still the skinny little drill bit couldn't find any of our other ones this is literally like the only we have a couple more of this exact same size um, so I pretty much just stuck the sucker in and then just started like rotating it around kind of carving away as we go probably not good for the drill bit but it worked um, so anyhow so now we have it through um, so all you need to do is get a wrench and tighten this guy down. It's the lock, um, wash, or, sorry, uh, lock nut. Um, so you know it's kind of tight, but uh, you want to get that on there nice. And then all we'll have to do is break out these carabiners, and it'll stick through here, and then it'll connect through onto the flag's grommets. And we just need to cut this guy down to size, and wait for the hitch adapter for my truck. So I'll kind of come back in when we get to that part. 
Okay, so skipping ahead, um, we have the flagpole mount completely assembled, and I already attached it to the back of the Suburban. Um, yeah, so far it looks really good. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Um, so anyhow, this is um, the flagpole hitch mount that I bought off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. It seems strong. Um, the only thing is it does wibble around a lot uh, here where it actually installs into the hitch. So I just went ahead and cut up some cardboard pieces and kind of just wedged them into the sides here just to kind of help it um, wedge and kind of get a little tighter. Um, because as you can see, I'll kind of put my hand back here. You know, it does wibble around a little bit. So when you drive, it's a little distracting, but it's not going anywhere. I have the hitch pin down there, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, I think it looks super awesome. Uh, very American. And uh, yeah, I think that's a good look for the Suburban for the 4th of July. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, so give it a big thumbs up if you liked the video. And uh, if you really like the American flag on the back of the truck, I think it looks cool. Um, but yeah, and uh, I hope this was a good tutorial for anyone that wants to do it for themselves. Um, it was really easy. Definitely a good do-it-yourself project for sure. Um, you know, it just took a few things from Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever uh, home improvement store you have nearby. And the PVC pipe, I think, is plenty strong for this project. I know some people um, will use like some type of metal piping or um, like exhaust pipe or something I've seen online. But uh, this is plenty fine and it looks great. So uh, yeah, go America. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Hope you have a great day. Also, if you buy this exact hitch-mounted flagpole receiver off of Amazon like I did, I do want to let you know that the opening for whatever type of pole you're going to make um, is a little bit bigger than two inches, but not much. And so I bought two-inch pipe, and this shit is really tight. Tight. Um, but yeah, so you know you kind of have to work at it to really get it in there. Um, that's what she said. But um, yeah, so it's good for you to keep in mind that maybe you could go with even a little bit of a smaller diameter pipe um, just to give it a little bit of an easier time to get it in there. Um, and then, you know, you can tighten it with this thing. So you can go with a smaller pipe, but um, at least this thing's really in there good. So it's not going anywhere. Um, but yeah, so that's something to keep in mind. So that's how you make an American flag for the back of your truck or SUV. Um, in all seriousness, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys ever want to make something like this for your own vehicle, then I hope this was helpful. Um, and if it was helpful, please do the thumbs up button for my video. And if you enjoyed everything, you enjoyed listening to me, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Also, I always forget to mention this, but I do have an Instagram. It's at GareBearVillegas. It's at G-A-R-B-E-A-R-V-I-L-L-E-G-A-S. Uh, that's my last name. Um, and I always post lots of photos, especially the Corvette and all the little mods that I like to do, and sometimes just little life things. Um, so go ahead and check that out. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think of putting a flag on the back of the truck. Um, you know, is it a good spirited holiday thing, or is it a little too country, or a little too redneck? I like it myself, and I live kind of in a mixed rural slash uh, suburban area, so it fits in nice. Um, but go ahead and let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. So I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching. Yeah.